Hello everyone, my name is David. Welcome to my question and answer videos I do every single week where I'm answering your guys' questions from last week. Any Anybody here have questions, please go down in the comments section, just down there. Ask me anything you want and I'll answer it next week. I do it every single Monday. Um, I want to welcome new people here. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today. Um, if you think I'm doing something beneficial, if I've helped you in some way and you think I can help somebody else, can you please support me by subscribing to my channel, voting, thumbs up or thumbs down, tell me why, say hi, tell us your locations, tell us where you're from, ask questions, share this video in places, suggest it to people, and you can put it in a playlist of your own on your own channel. Really help you, really, really would help me help other people. Thank you very, very much. Um, all I ask if you ask questions, just please tell us all where you're from. You can be general, okay? Thank you. Um, I would like to thank three people who have made donations to this channel. Amazing. Thank you so much. I don't get donations uh, very often, but man, three this week. From Edith, Emily, and Joey. Thank you. Thank you very much, all three of you, so much. I can't even, it, it, and it doesn't really matter how much, too. It's just, um, it's an amazing gesture to give your hard-earned money, you know? Thank yous are amazing, too. They're awesome. But when someone gives you your money, it's just really, really nice. Thank you, all three of you, very, very much, and everybody who's ever made any kind of donations to this channel. I really appreciate all of you. Thank you so much. Um, I like to make a suggestion every week. I suggest maybe an author in their books or someone else's channel or um, supplements or different things I think that can help people heal from trauma. That's kind of what I do is I'm, I'm trying to assist people through their journey from uh, with healing from different traumas. This week, I really like this one. It's something I've been thinking about recently and I can't tell you enough how much me having good posture has helped me in my life i've had uh of all the bad things i've, I've done in my life and and failed at and all that i've always had really good posture and i've been through um, a couple of bad car accidents i fell off a building once i've really hurt my back my neck my hips my shoulders my knee i've just killed my body i've really my body's gone through a lot but I've always kept really good posture, and that has helped me have better health, um, sleep better, um, and I think just really also respect. I, you just get more respect when you have better posture, big time. And you can see, and, and a lot of us that have suffered from traumas, depression, always follow stuff like this, sadness, low self-esteem, and you can see in some of you, and, and you can see it around People kind of just get bad posture, and I've had lots of clients who have had this problem, ongoing problem for much of their lives, and part of their journey and healing is starting to get better posture. So, I want to recommend something very simple, $24.99, $24.99 US on Amazon is a posture corrector for men and women, both adjustable upper back brace for clavicle to support neck, back, and shoulder. Um, <clears throat> it's just a, a piece of material that just kind of wraps around here and it looks like you can wear it under your clothing and possibly no one would even know. Um, definitely in the winter, no one would know. But whatever, I mean, you, you can wear this working out, sleeping, all this stuff. So it, I just think it's a great idea. Um, anybody interested in this, go down below into the description box and I'll put a link for this to Amazon. And like I said, it's, this is the, their best seller right now. Uh, $24.99 with an extra coupon for $2.00. And free shipping. Not bad. So that's that if you're interested. Um, I wrote down here for better posture. Oh, you know what? Here, I'll read their little spiel. Where is it? Let our posture corrector be part of your healthier life. Our posture corrector helps you regain proper posture, which can help to prevent the onset of back, neck, and shoulder pain. Our posture corrector helps provide alignment. And then it, it, that goes down more than that. Hips, knees, every, it affects everything. Um, helps provide alignment while sitting, standing, lying down, or during your other daily activities. Proper posture is important for all ages and is essential for living a productive life. Good posture is very sexy. Regain your confidence. They're trying to throw you the sexy thing out there. And I, I think some of you could care less about that right now, right? Um, but, right, it, it does look better when someone has better posture. 
But it's healthier. It's healthier. It's healthier. And I think it will help self-esteem, confidence, things like this, big time, okay? We kind of walk it. We kind of, you know, fake it till we make it. Walk the walk, and then hopefully we'll talk the talk. So that's my recommendation. Like I said before, anybody who's interested, please go down into the description box, follow the link on Amazon. Thank you. And let me know, guys. Anybody who's, who's ever tried one of these, let me know what you think. Please, I would love to know down below. Thank you. So let's get started with the questions right off the bat. First one's from Stephen in Perth, Western Australia. I always wanted to visit Perth. Hey, David, why did my narcissist ex ghost me after I discarded her? What is she trying to make me feel? I could feel the discard coming, so I discarded her just in time before she could six months on. The silence is deafening. I sit here trying to heal and work on myself and not one apology from her. Cheers. Well, going by what you just have here, okay, Steve, um, you said you discarded her and... And I think that term gets used very loosely nowadays, especially when we talk about narcissists. And we know that narcissists discard us. And I think we're using, I, I hope you're using that term as just breaking up. Because discard is, is discarding a human. It, it's, that's, we use that term to discard garbage, rubbish, trash, right? So not people. We don't discard people. Um, so if you did discard her, I don't know why you'd, think the that silence is is amazing or, or you're, like you're surprised that she's silent afterwards you know if you, if you threw her away like a piece of garbage maybe you didn't do that steve maybe you just broke up with her i don't know um what is she trying to make you feel obviously i don't know her and i know a lot of you are getting tired of me saying that <laughs> but um so what do i think well you know, if, if she's disordered, we're, we're disordered people are so about what they look like, ego, right? And and it's amazing. I've had people come, I've, had, I've broken up with people, I've broken up with girls, and they've come back in my life just to break up with me <laughs> and go away, just like, oh, okay. Uh, but, uh, uh, so my guess is she's pretty hurt that you broke up with her, or discarded her. And she feels too vulnerable and insecure and doesn't want to talk to you again because you're going to hurt her again. I, I don't know what she's trying to do. Maybe she's trying to punish you, right? Maybe you've always been there, Steve. Maybe you've always been there for her and you, you break up with her before or she's broken up with you before, but you always take her back. And so she knows this, right? Maybe she's going to come back soon to you. I hope not, right? Your ego says, I hope she does. But if you wanted her to come back, Steve, then why did you discard her or break up with her? You know, um, you, you want her to talk to you, and that might just be an addiction. Get help for that, okay? Because what's going to happen is you might make big, bad mistakes. If this whole thing was a big, bad mistake, then do you really want her to talk to you again? D do you want closure? I mean, is that what you want and what you're offering now after the fact that you discarded her? I don't know. Um, why don't you just ask me more? Why don't you give me more details, Steve, and ask me more? Unless I somehow answered your question there. I don't think I did. But, you know, like I said, I wouldn't know what she's doing. I, I don't know her. And she, um, but you discarded her before she could discard you. And that sounds like abandonment. And that might be fear of abandonment that you have, Steve. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe she does. She has fear of abandonment. And you just triggered her hardcore. Um, I... I, I I just wouldn't know. I wouldn't know. But why don't you ask me more questions? Okay? Thanks, Steve, very much. Next question is from Tina in California. Hello, Tina. <clears throat> when I was discarded, I was given several neutral reasons by the narc. None of these items would make any normal person even slightly angry. I was sitting there with my mouth open, trying to figure out how these things could even be construed negatively. Is this common? Has anyone else experienced this? Well, I mean, I think so. What I think you're asking, if I'm wrong, Tina, uh, ask me again. And anybody out there, if I miss your question, ask me again. It wasn't on purpose. If I misunderstand it, ask me again. If you misunderstand me or something, keep asking. I don't mind repetitive questions. Ask questions, questions, questions. We need to ask to heal. We need to learn. <clears throat> so... 
something to know about personality disorders is that they're very rigid. No flexible flexibility. Okay, so <clears throat> they have, and they don't tell the truth, and they're not very in touch with who they are to even be able to be very accurate with what they want, how they feel, stuff like this. So who knows how he really feels? Who knows? It sounds like he just found a reason to break up with you, Tina. Or he's so hypersensitive to every little thing you do, right? He can't handle relationships. That's another problem with personality disorders. <clears throat> I don't know. But of course this is common, Tina. They're so critical. When the, Look, it sounds like there's a problem with the relationship, especially if he's disordered, there's a problem. Tina and and both of you are most likely being neglected and there might be abuse okay so he knows there's probably something wrong what this sounds like to me is him him being hypercritical right is what you're trying to say very very critical of things that don't seem like such a big deal so it sounds like he's coming up with a reason to leave you for someone else right or he's his fear of abandonment completely kicked in and then no, narcissists could have this, borderlines could have this, sociopaths, psychopaths, total fear of abandonment, and they will abandon you first. And they may understand that their fears aren't legitimate, and so he makes up some. I don't know. I hope that helps, Tina. Please let me know if it does. Please keep asking, okay? I can't, and anybody else want to um, tap into this and, and give your your answer what you think for Tina in California um, she wants to know if it's common that they start coming up with massive reasons to to leave you but they're like not a big deal like you you turn pages too fast and you turn you know you you have, you have a little whistle when you talk sometimes and you're drunk and you're <laughs> I don't know to, but uh, <clears throat> for one thing if he has a personality disorder, he's not happy with who he is inside. So he's never satisfied, never happy, never legitimately comfortable, right? So there's going to be problems all the time. And the closer you get to them, the more problems there are. The longer it goes, the more problems there's bound to be. Hope that makes sense. Sorry, Tina, but keep, keep asking me questions, okay? Thank you. Michelle from New York. Hello, Michelle. Hi, David. Can you or someone on here tell me or drop a obvious hint on who the person is from an, another channel that is, oh, I didn't want to read this. I didn't want to read this. <laughs> I, I, not, not against you, Michelle, but I'm not trying to talk about this person. Michelle's asking about the person who's been smearing me for three years and has tens and tens and tens and tens and tens of videos out there obsessively making up all kinds of lies. <clears throat> there. I'm not going to say who it is. That's the difference between me and that narcissist that's doing it. Um, but thank you for being concerned. It's not hard to find. It's somebody in this community, right, that has videos attacking people. That's it. <laughs> attacking people, making accusations, making up stories, massive stories that they somehow know everyone in their personal life and they're all coming to them and telling them all this stuff about people, me and many other people. So I'm not really too worried about it that much. <laughs> like, yeah. And you watch a few minutes of them and you can tell that she is wacko. <clears throat> Except some of the handful of sick people that watch her. Okay. Audrey from Ohio. Hello, Audrey. Hi, David. Maybe a thought more than a question. I remember being told so many times, I'm not playing your effing games anymore. This was inevitably said at some point during my ignoring his calls and pulling away. For those who want to see the best in others, don't you think this is a clear sign that the one saying this is likely the one playing the games? When you know you're not in it, when you know you're not a game player, I'm starting to see a little clear during no contact. Just thought this point may help some people still wanting to see the best and toxic person they are snared by. Thank you, Audrey. Yeah, um, you know, the term projection, right? And, and this comes with, try to understand that how different these people are. Even though you think you know them, you don't. And you don't know what they're used to doing their whole lives. And they don't tell you. They're never vulnerable. They're never honest. They don't, they don't even know who they are anyway. So they, and they're delusional about the past. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty bad, right? So it's really hard to get to know these people. But 
Projection in this context works like this. If I cheat my whole life, and that's, you know, I'm fine with cheating, then I think people are betraying me. Because that's the playing field I'm on. If I'm a thief, and people come over to my house, I hide my stuff. Really hard, even if they're technically my friends. I hide my stuff. And if something's missing, I jump right away to my best friend stole it. Why? Because I'm a thief. That's the playing field I'm on. You know? So, <clears throat> you know, what's that saying? You point fingers, you have three pointing back at you. I, I, it, <laughs> I, I'm so honest that I'll have repairmen, you know, not, not to hate on repairmen, but never met you before, don't know you, and they come over to my house to fix something and leave, and I'll notice I just left a stack of cash sitting right on the countertop. I left a piece of jewelry or just something out in the open. Damn. I'll be like, damn. <laughs> but I don't think about it. It's not my first thing. You know, that's why um, I tend to believe what people are telling me kind of first. And then I have to wait and go, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this isn't true. You know? But liars and manipulators, they're always like, hmm. You're lying. But uh-uh, uh-uh, bullshit. That's not true. Oh, yeah, you're probably just faking it all out of it. You know, that's just the way it is. I mean, I hope I, I made my point, Andre. Right? I do. And, and I, I have a saying that I've said for years now. If you don't know you're in a game, you lose. So it's not so neat that the narcissist is such a good manipulator like they're so proud of. Nobody else is manipulating. So, of course, you're the best at it. Great, you're good at it. You've done it your whole life. That's great. Nobody else values manipulating. Yeah, you, no, really, though. You've met narcissists. You guys probably all know one. Or a sociopath or something that just loves that they can manipulate. They, they're so good at it. It's like, yeah, dude, you're the only one doing it. And, and that's not how the world works. So we lose. Thank you, Audrey. I kind of went off there. Um, <coughs> Phil... Uh, da, da. I don't know where you're from. Please leave us your locations, everybody. Thank you. Uh, Phil asked, what happened to your old videos? I think your previous channel was called something like My Narcissist Ex-Girlfriend. I really enjoyed those videos, especially your personal story in the first 25 or so. I could really relate and resonate with those videos, and I watched them several times. If I knew you were going to take them down, I would have downloaded them. Are they still up somewhere? If not, would you please get put them back up? Oh, and where's Danny Dog? I haven't seen her in a while. Is she okay? Um, yeah. Uh, thank you for asking, Phil. Danny is fabulous. Um, I don't have her here right here, so <clears throat> I'll have her make an appearance in part two, right in the beginning. I'll show you guys her. I like that you asked, too. Um, that's nice. Yeah. But I just showed her not too long ago, um, and she's great. But, um, okay, so my old channel was, yes, called something like that. And, yes, I had 20, my first 25 videos were my relationship. I had toxic, toxic 10-year relationship that, that, that brought all this about for me. And I took them, I, I just privatized them. They still exist. I might load them up again sometime. I don't know. I took them away because of that stalker that's been harassing me and exploiting every little detail she can find about my personal life. And so I took them down until the stalker's done, which they will be soon. Um, so maybe, maybe I can just make another video and talk about my, my life, maybe, if you guys want to know that. Um, I don't mind. <clears throat> I just like making all this more about you guys and not me. But if you guys want to hear my story or my life or something, I can tell it in several minutes, 10 minutes, maybe maybe in a Q&A. Not this one, don't have time for this one. I don't know. Why don't you guys give me feedback and if there's, you know, a few of you, several of you, enough of you that want me to do that, I'll do that. Just tell me. Thanks, Phil. I appreciate you asking. And I'll show Danny, Danny Dog, in part two. Thanks. And I'm going to stop part one here 
and part two will be on in a few minutes. If you guys could please support me in any way, just activity, okay? Views, voting, commenting, sharing, posting, playlist. Thank you so much. Um, anybody who wants coaching, daviddemars.com. Thank you. Love yourself first. See you in part two. Bye-bye.